came here for a show, man. No night to marry. So before this weekend's over, it better be fireworks. You understand me? No detail to me. You like it? It's playing backwards. I'll need to. What the fuck are you talking about? Hello, Jamal. How you doing? I'm well, how are you? I'm all right. As always, I love you. I can talk to the Barriqua. So look, I know that you did the fear event with uh, Scotty Pippen and and Dion and Roxanne and Van Jones and uh, Floyd Mayweather. And I got to talk about a lot of what went into making this film. And I want to know, like you've done a number of, of uh, horror movies already. Like how is how is the situation surrounding the creation of this movie? How does that make this one different? Um, this is different from any film that I've ever worked on. I mean, I've worked on scary films. This is terrifying. <laughs> and the, the experience is one that I will never forget. I mean, we were in the midst of the most terrifying moment of our planet, one that we've, we've never been in. And to be brought together with a group of people that are just profound. And I, I don't use that word lightly. They're there was so much that was learned in this experience in both my career and in real life and a lot of fear to be had. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, how was overcoming um, the fear that we was all feeling to, to be able to make this, this movie. And I, I just finished watching it like 10 seconds ago and, I, and it is, it's is horrifying. Um, <laughs> but how is like getting over that, that fear of the pandemic and what might happen with the early days of COVID? Like how, how was having completed that? How does that, ch how has that changed you as, as a person and an actor? I think that, you know, we have fears and what's important is, is that we turn around and we face them so that we know what we have to do in order to heal and move forward from them be it trauma from our past or something, you know, small that we have going in everyday life. And for this film to finally be coming out, you know, there's a sense of relief, right? That, that you feel, but just, <laughs> it's exciting. It really, mm -hmm. really is. And I can't believe that you just finished watching it 10 minutes ago. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> no, I mean, me and Dion are friends though. <laughs> but no, um... But you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be out there Saturday to see it with you guys for the premiere for sure. Um, uh, you you also uh, you also a, a, a child of uh, entertainers, a, a manager, and and an actor that you know from Top Gun and Full Metal Jacket. Um, has that has that pressure of the success of their careers? Um, how did that affect you when you started to chase this dream yourself? Was was the pressure ever overwhelming or like did you feed off of it or, or, or what? It, it, it was overwhelming at one point when I didn't have enough faith in myself. You know, I, I decided that I wanted to come into this and I really wanted to go for it. And my father's last name will get my foot through the door. But once I'm in that room, it's up to me to carry the meeting. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so it was overwhelming at one point, but that's a fear that I overcame. And I feel, I feel good about it at this point in my life. Yeah. And we always like to talk about, you know, castmates and the director, but I, I want to take a second to talk about um, Roxanne. Y'all shared the stage at this event. And, you know, um, the fact that she was the first producer talking to the CDC and doing all this stuff, like what? How empowering is that to to as as a person of color to to sit there and see this this woman like take take hold of her fears and just like make make hidden empire into the the studio that it is. I appreciate that question, and I hope that after this we can continue to talk because I know that we don't have enough time. But I do want to say that Roxanne is an amazing human being and an and a powerful woman that I'm so blessed and honored to know because I'm learning from her. I'm, um, I have a lot of fear within myself when it comes to my identity and what I'm learning about myself. 
And with her by my side in my corner in any way that you want to look at it, I feel encouraged. I feel safe. I feel inspired. And I mean, what more can you ask for? That's, that's a blessing. Yeah, and it, yeah. it was incredible listening to her speak. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. Well, I can't wait to talk to you on the carpet uh, this weekend at, at the premiere. I can't wait to find out what films that you might get to direct in or we get to hear some music from you soon. So look yeah. forward to seeing more from you, Ruby, and thanks for your time. I appreciate you, sir.